MR2D, and I'm going to try to show you pretty quickly uh, how I installed it. It's a great uh, little heater, and it's going to be going in my Renault surf van here, that we used last year all over Europe and Morocco. Here's the basic uh, design layout. Uh, here I'm checking out to see where under the bed it might go so that I have room for storage on both sides, pretty much in, in the middle of the area under the bed. And now I'm looking under carriage to see where that would be reasonably be able to be placed. I'll drill a small pilot hole so I can see from above where to start out. And I'm going to be using the little rubber sealant coming from the motor as a, a pattern to find out exactly where to drill my holes. And I don't have a picture of that. This is an aluminum plate. I had made at the local uh, sheet metal um, shop because the heater has to be mounted slightly above the floor in order to make all the connections. The floor is too, was too thick for everything to come down underneath. I tried to drill it with this uh, wooden uh, hole saw, but <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't work out very well. So you see what happened there? So, you know, you learn as you go along. And so I had to do the old fashioned method of using a smaller drill bit to drill a series of smaller holes and then just knock that sucker out. And this is what it came out like. And I'm pretty, pretty happy with it so far. One extra hole only. Uh, now we're pausing for a <laughs> last year's trip to Portugal. There's the van in the upper right hand corner of the parking lot. And I've got my drone going on there. It's a secret beach here. I'm not going to tell you. Here's, no, here's another secret beach. It's not me surfing. But it's nice to relive old memories while you're working on your current project. Uh, this place I surfed 1977 the first time. And, uh, I'm a legend in my own mind. Uh, so this is a guy's take on a heavy duty wave there. I just thought I would pick it up. So anyway, we're back uh, to the car now. This is the exhaust pipe with the muffler. And that's, we just sort of like stuck it next to the old muffler. And there you see the insulated part of it going into the, up into the car there. The white is the fuel line and the black one is the fresh air intake to the heater, uh, the combustion part of the uh, heater. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look on how I did the fuel line because uh, the fuel pump has to be uh, situated upwards um, gravity, because it's a magnetic pump, it um, uh, has to be like that. And we T-piped it into a, an existing fuel line that went to a heater uh, that I can't figure out how to work. But it's in the front of the car anyway, and I wanted one in the back in the living quarters. So. Uh, but it did come a surprise that I had a heater. The guy says, what the hell, man? You already have a heater in this car. I says, what? You're kidding. He says, no, man. Look, you can, this is the fuel line, so we'll just pipe into that. We don't have to drill into the tank or anything like that. So it actually worked out okay. Now the fuel line's going uh, back into the car. Yeah.